Last year having a tied for third finish in the national championship is obviously not the easiest thing to you know follow up with but I think that's a good bar to set for the younger guys and including myself that you know we need to strive to fill those shoes. The guys who graduated last year uh, Matt, Thomas, Nick, Sam they they showed us how to do it and we're we're young but uh, we, we saw it last year and with these last two wins uh, we know what it takes to go in conference. We got off to a pretty slow start in the fall. I think uh, a lot of new faces in the lineup and and just kind of figuring each other out. I think they've finally gotten comfortable. Our young group's finally gotten comfortable now uh, with the competition and really all spring we've just continually got better. You know, the back-to-back -back wins, it's coming a good time and you know, I don't think it should add any excess pressure. It's just what we should have been doing all along and things are finally clicking into a groove, so might as well make it three in a row. It is the MIAA championships, but it's not a big stage. There's only going to be 10 teams there. We've seen them all, seen all those teams several times this year, so we're comfortable in knowing that we can beat them all. We're just as good as everyone else out there. We've been doing this our whole lives, and it's just another golf tournament is the way I try to, you know, influence the boys to look at it. With winning these last two tournaments, we've kind of put the ball in our court. We, our destiny is in our own hands on whether we go to regionals or not, and I think we've we put ourselves in a really good position. Our region's really tough this year. A lot of senior oriented, a lot of experienced teams. Coach has been just really honest about doing what we've been doing in practice, having a little friendly competition here and there, playing when we can, and you know, just being ready to roll.